Welcome, welcome, welcome to our 2021 top 10 stocking stuffers just for you. Now, in my opinion, these are some really great items that might be a wonderful stocking stuffer for your artist friends or family. So let's just jump right into it, shall we? Okay, first on the list are these Soho pastel sets, okay? These are beautiful. We have a fluorescent soft pastel and a metallic soft pastel. These are a great addition for any artist that wants to add some pop and flair or uh, Liberace to their artwork. Um, really nicely packaged. They basically look like makeup kits in my opinion. And they come with this nice sleeve. And um, here are our metallics right here. Lots of different jewel tones. And uh, of course your classics, your bronze, your golds, your silvers, and anything to you know win the Olympics. And when it comes to these, uh, they both have their own way of shimmering. So naturally a metallic will have that shimmer in the light. But these fluorescents, if you want to do something really fun, uh, you know, they are completely black light reactants. So they will glow under the black light if you want to make your own, you know, hippie posters. These are the way to go. But seriously, they make some very cool effects with or without a black light, um, but they will react under one if you're curious. And then, like always, what I like to do with these videos is, you know, I don't think anybody's going to question this one, but that will fit right in your stocking, okay? So if you have an artist friend that wants to add some pop, pizzazz, or Trying to think of other adjectives to their artwork. These two sets of uh, 10 sticks are a great addition, um, so keep those in mind. All right, to be honest with you, this number two top 10 stocking stuffer kind of sucks. This is the Accurate Rechargeable Mini Vacuum, okay? This is for any crummy artist in your life. Uh, this is a perfect gift for them. This is exactly what it sounds like. It's a mini vacuum. So if you've got eraser crumbs everywhere, pencil shavings, this is your go-to, okay? You hit the little button, hear that? It's ready to go, baby. Ooh, it's taking some of me with it. I'm telling you, this is a cute little gift. Fits right in the stocking. Here, we'll prove it. Might have a little, uh, might have a little, like, I don't know, snake swallowing a mouse kind of look to it, but. Now, this stocking is a standard size stocking, but it's pretty thick. So, as Katie said, the the slit is pretty tight. Uh, so even with that being said, it fits in there just fine. Right? You guys like that? Yeah, this could be you. So if you have a crummy artist that you want to give a gift that sucks, this is the, this is the way to go. <laughs> so seriously, if you have an artist friend that uh, does a lot of pencil work, um, makes little messes, this is a really handy little, well, mini hand vacuum. So keep those in mind, the accurate Rechargeable mini vac. Comes with a USB cable to recharge it. Really easy, really simple to clean. Um, I like it a lot. I think it's a good little tool to have on hand. And it's adorable. It looks like it should be in a Mario game. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So the next thing I want to show you is not going to be flashy and bright and shiny like a metallic pastel set or even as crummy as a little vacuum cleaner or whatever. Uh, it's, it's a real, real nice little gift for a serious artist, especially urban sketching artist. Um, illustration artist. These are waterproof um, technical pens, okay? These are a great tool if you know an artist that likes to do um, drawing on the go, watercolor on the go, likes to do washes over their pen. Since these will dry waterproof, um, it won't bleed into their watercolor. There are tons of applications for technical pens for artists. So if you don't know what to get uh, and you know that they do drawing, whether it's technical drawing or urban artist drawing, it's really, honestly, this is equal almost to like having a pencil on hand, having these waterproof pens. They're just so versatile. Um, almost any artist can find a use for these bad boys and they fit really easy right in that stocking. And you get six. So why do you get six in there? Well, there's different nib sizes, okay? So everything from 0.1 millimeter to a full millimeter. Uh, so you can get those line weights in there uh, and they can create all different types of effects uh, with those different line weights depending on the type of art you're doing. So, we've been talking about gifts for those uh, illustrative artists out there. Uh, we talked about some technical pens, we talked about some um, uh, mini vacs for erasing crumbs or uh, pencil shavings, whatnot. Um, but let's get to the meat and potatoes. If you have an artist in your life that likes to draw, the Cezanne um, Artist Graphite Drawing Pencil Tin is awesome. It's a beautiful set. It comes with everything from a 2H to a 12B, so a full range of colors. Um, comes in this nice box. It is a tin in there. And as I like to do with everything, will fit beautifully in your stocking for the loved ones, the loved artists in your life. All right, so by popular demand here in the studio, let me take it out and show you what you're gonna get. The tin, 
you know, I'll do it like this. Tin. I guess this is a, um, well, that's a pencil in case you didn't know what was going to be inside it. There you go. Beautiful little set. All the colors laid out. Really sharp. Really functional, okay? Some of these gifts are fun, right? And, you know, stocking stuffers should be fun in, in general. Uh, vacuum's fun. A few of the other things we show you are fun. Uh, this is a very functional gift, and it comes in this nice tin, as I said. If you have somebody in your life that needs to take their art supplies out of the studio, such as a student artist uh, or a traveling artist, this tin is great. It protects the pencils, keeps them in place. They're not going to go anywhere. If you're um, worried about them damaging, breaking, you know, pencils uh, protecting the tips, especially if you've forgotten an eraser, making sure that they're not broken when you get to where you're going, that metal tin is really a nice addition to the beautiful pencils, high-quality pencils inside. So if you have a more practical artist that you're getting a gift for, uh, this is a very practical gift for an artist uh, that they will definitely be using. Now, for those of you that are interested in something for a painting artist friend and uh, want to, I don't know, maybe step up the gift to something a little bit nicer, let me show you these beauties. These are the Mimic Squirrel Pocket Brush Set, okay? So these are uh, a Mimic Squirrel. However, because they are synthetic, they have the softness of a squirrel but can maintain nice sharp points. So they're a beautiful hybrid of what you'd expect from a squirrel brush with that ability to keep a point like a Kalinske, which is really nice. Now, this will obviously fit into here, but I have one open here. They're vegan friendly, obviously synthetic brushes, uh, vegan case, um, closure. And one of the things that I really love about all of our travel brush sets that we've started to come out with is when you open them and put them together, they really feel pretty legit as a brush. You know, they're comfortable in the hand. They're lightweight, but they don't feel flimsy. Um, you know, they're not going to just like fall off on you. I mean, this is a very scientific shake test I'm doing here for you, so you're welcome. Uh, and then, oh, it makes a lovely pop sound. It's like a champagne on ice. Um, and then, you know, you keep them all together, and it's a beautiful little set, beautiful little gift. Fits in the stocking. Uh, highly functional gift, again, sort of like those pencils. If you have a painter in your life that would like a little pocket watercolor travel set, you don't get better than this little beauty. So the Mimic Squirrel Pocket Set, a uh, really great gift. In my opinion, this would be a beautiful thing if I found in my stocking, uh, if I had one. Um, I should, people know I'm a Jew. I, I shouldn't pretend. A really beautiful stocking stuffer gift for the artist in your life. Check it out. It landed beautifully. Ming, look at this. <laughs> Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you is a great gift for artists of all ages, all skill levels. They are the Soho Urban Artist Bricks, okay? These are sketchbooks in a brick form, and they come in all these fun and exciting colors. Now, the paper doesn't, this doesn't have like hot pink paper in it, okay? They're all different papers. So as you can see here, we've got the uh, craft. So this has got a craft type paper in it, okay? So, you know, this is great if you're doing like, um, you know, uh, sketches and you want to use like white highlights in the sketches, you know, all kinds of applications there. You have your uh, brick, which is with the black paper. So if you're using, for example, those uh, metallic or uh, fluorescent pastels, they're really going to pop on something like this. Um, but rather than go through all of them, I think you get the idea. We've got gray pages here. We've got a white page um, sketch version, and then finally a mixed media. So with these two, they're both regular white paper, uh, but you can see here, um, this one's 65 pounds, so a typical sketch paper paperweight, and this is 95 pounds, so a nice beefy paper, a heavier paper um, that will hold your washes and uh, you know, light, wet media work. Wet media work? Yeah, okay. And they do fit beautifully inside your stockings. And in my opinion, collect all five, because why not? Catch them all. Actually, one of the things that's really nice about this design is the fact that they will fold um, fairly flat, right? And because of the way it's, it's bound, they're not going to um, rip uh, when you do that. It's, it's, it's really a nice, nice design, especially if you like to do like a two-page spread, um, depending on what you're doing. So functional and colorful and just fun for the holidays, in my opinion, and a good item all around for artists of any age. Now, going back to our brushes, we actually have a really special curated set of short handle brushes that are animal friendly, that uh, are both a Mimic Kalinske and a Mimic, um, basically a Mimic hog hair, which we call Berlin. 
All right, this is a really nice set of 12 brushes. So what you see here on the back is you're going to get six of each. Okay, so you're going to have rounds and filberts in the Mimic Kalinsky and flats and filberts of the Berlin. Um, if you're a mixed media artist, you cannot do better than this. Uh, watercolor artist, basically, there's no reason that any artist that paints couldn't find an application for these, and they are all short handle. It's not common to find short handle uh, bristle type brushes, so that makes it really unique, especially if you're like, like I said, mixed media. Anybody that paints in uh, acrylic, especially, but also oil on a table. So, like, you know, having those long handle brushes are really designed for when you're standing up in an easel. But if you like to paint flat, a short handle could be a huge advantage. So, they come in this box wrapped in tissue paper. Um, nice set of brushes. Let me just open it up for you so you can kind of see what you're going to get. This collection of brushes here, and I mean, large size 20 flat, um, uh, a large Mimic 16, and these brushes are very high quality. These are some of my favorite synthetic brushes because they are used with the most state-of-the-art uh, science behind the design, uh, and part of that is the filament of the hair, okay? So your natural hair, if you run your hands through it slowly, you might feel changes texture. Some parts are a little bit more coarse, some parts might be a little bit more thin. Every hair on your head is not the same diameter, and that's part of what keeps moisture in. So if you want to have a more absorbent synthetic brush, that's exactly what they've done. They've changed the diameter of the hairs to more mimic the natural hair, which is a really cool thing. So these brushes would obviously easily fit into a stocking, and a really beautiful gift in my opinion, especially as a stocking stuffer um, for a special artist in your life. All right, so if you like uh, gadgets and you like the idea of uh, perhaps that accurate mini vac, we have one other that I think is a fun little gift that you can give the artist in your life, and that's these accurate rechargeable electrical racers, okay? They uh, recharge with the USB that comes with a included cable, and because these are designed to do more than just a race, they're also designed to help you if you want to create sort of like highlights or like negative art techniques. Uh, there are two different um, millimeter eraser heads that go in here. So if you want to do finer detail or a more broader cleanup of an area, you have that flexibility with this tool so that you can do that. A tool like this is often really great, not only for artists that want to use it to sort of like do negative drawing with, uh, or the casual artist that does erasing. I mean, this will really reduce hand fatigue. Uh, if you have an artist in your life that has arthritis, uh, this really reduces that hand fatigue. There's a lot less effort that needs to be put in because it is motorized. And like everything else, fits beautifully in that stocking, okay? Fun little gift, and another, in my opinion, honestly, functional as well as fun. This is kind of, in my opinion, one of the best hybrids of the two. It's, it's a functional, fun hybrid gift for any artist that needs to erase things, and uh, I think it's a beautiful little thing. I really enjoy these. I'm glad we started carrying them. I think you'll enjoy them too. Now, some of you out there have some very serious painter friends and might want a very serious painter friend's gift, and don't get me wrong, those uh, Mimic Kalinske and Berlin brushes, that's a beautiful, nice, serious gift. But what's something a little bit maybe more substantial that would fit in a stocking that your painter, uh, pal, or family might really enjoy? Well, let me show you this. This is the Creative Mark Painter's Edge Palette Knife Set of 8. Okay, I'm going to take it out of the sleeve. You can keep it in the sleeve to put in a stocking, but I want to just show you. It comes with this carrying case. I mean, can you imagine Christmas morning, somebody opens their stocking, then BAM! They got those tools. Yeah, you gave them that. That was their Christmas morning because of you. I'm talking mega giant palette knives, highly functional, especially for palette knife painters or people that paint with large quantities of paint, need to mix large quantities of paint. But then of course, you know, more traditional sizes. This is one of my personal favorite shapes as a palette knife. Um, I just, I don't know, it's just in my opinion for my painting, for my technique, for my taste. I just really love working with palette knives like this. But regardless, there's a huge selection in this set of eight, uh, a selection of eight in fact, uh, mathematically speaking. And it's a beautiful gift and I also think it makes a really nice impression. So this will fit in a standard size stocking and especially a, a easy, more easily in a larger size stocking. But it will fit, it will fit in this. And like I said, they open it up, they're like, well, what did you get me? What is this? Is this some kind of weird? And then it's like, whoa, beautiful palette knife set. And high quality palette knives, functional, beautiful, impressive, um, substantial gift that would go in a stocking. And uh, in my opinion, uh, if I open this up on a Christmas morning, I think I would be pretty impressed. You know, like, hey, that, that's a pretty cool gift, especially coming as a stocking stuffer. So anyway, keep it in mind. These are just ideas we're going over for our holiday gift giving stocking stuffer guide. Now, 
Our final stocking stuffer, this is great. I'm telling you from personal experience, you give this gift, oh man, people will never forget. In this beautiful box comes the best stocking stuffer you could possibly give to loved one, which is the Jerry's gift card. So a physical Jerry's gift card, uh, if you order in time with, of course, you have the to, from, and how much you've put it on there, really nice presentation, an ultimate stocking stuffer. I mean, it's easy, especially for artists, you don't know exactly what they want, you know that they do certain art, but maybe they don't, you know, maybe you don't know if they need X, Y, or Z. Um, the amounts fluctuate, you know, you can put any amount on here that uh, is within your budget for the gift. Um, really, you can't go wrong with a Jerry's gift card, and that's why I give them out every year. Now, if you are watching this video late because you're a procrastinator like me, because sometimes I don't give this nice little gift box, I ran out of time, always keep in mind jerryslitorama.com has e-gift cards you can send out Christmas Day if you wanted to, uh, to your loved ones that you thought about at the very last minute. It's a thing. It's true. It can happen. But if it's not the last minute, this could be in the stocking of a loved one or friend of yours. And trust me, if they're an artist, this is the ultimate gift. Whatever your holiday tradition is, you don't have to put these things in the stockings if you don't want to. You can wrap them up as gifts, you can put them next to the stocking. The point is to just have fun and, you know, hopefully give a gift that leaves an impression on somebody that makes them feel good and uh, hopefully is very useful, you know, uh, especially when it comes to art supplies. Now, we, we talked, did we talk about a bonus? There's a bonus here. And I say it's a bonus because it's not a stocking stuffer. This would not fit in a stocking, but I just, oh, I have to tell you, this is just a fun item, okay? This is a fun item. I love this item. I think it's packaged beautifully to be a gift. Okay, let me just, let me just clear this up. So we've cleared that up, all right? What I wanted to show you, these come in two different sizes, 12 and 24, are our Globe Trotter watercolor wristbands, okay? This is a fun gift, all right? So this is what the 12 piece looks like right here, okay? So this is the one that comes in this orange box, the 12 pans, all right? And you wear it like a watch. Um, and then it opens up, it has all the colors, palette mixing areas on both of these sides, uh, blotting sponges on the top and the bottom. Uh, some people like to wear it, I, I personally think wearing it kind of like underneath is really great because you can hold a watercolor sketch pad in one hand and paint with the other, which is really functional. But let me just show you, because both boxes um, are the same. This is the 24 piece, all right? So let me show you what's inside the box. This is gonna be for the 24 piece set. And you can see here it's on a nice velvet um, <clears throat> cushion. You have your 24 pans. You have the um, watch kind of uh, bracelet portion that connects to this. Comes with a free water pen and six refills of the more popular colors that you might go through quicker. But I'll tell you, these are very pigmented. We've done unboxing swatches on these, um, product demos. They are highly pigmented. They'll go a long way um, and tons of color. And you can just see here, just again, you got the multiple mixing areas, all those colors, your sponges on both sides, and it will just sit on your wrist, overhand or underhand, whatever you're more comfortable with. So in my opinion, a beautiful gift, beautiful box set, nice, contained, easy, simple, fun, beautiful, functional. I can continue with the adjectives, but I think you get the point. If you're curious about how these perform, we do have an unboxing swatch already up on the Jerry's YouTube channel. We'll link to that in this video in the description below, uh, where you can kind of see me put these to use, uh, swatching them out and opening the box and kind of showing you in a little bit more detail. So keep those in mind. I give this an honorable mention simply because in the box, which is a beautiful gift box, they do not fit in a stocking. So. Uh, we want to call a spade a spade. This is not a stocking stuffer unless you wanted to take it out of the box, but then they're going to have these loose pans and, I don't know, water brush, and they might not know if it's all one thing. So why risk it, right? You can put a stocking stuffer next to a stocking, then it's a stocking companion. So I hope this gift guide was helpful to you. If this was, uh, please give it a thumbs up. You'll also find all the links to the products that we've talked about down below as well. So check those out on jerryzonarma.com. The links will be to the website down below. Uh, and uh, hopefully this is helpful. Please leave in the comments, uh, what are some things that you've given as gifts to artists in your life? Um, things that might be inspire other people to uh, want to give as a gift. It's a, it's a community. You know, I did forget something, and this is really a great gift, and it's worth mentioning. It fits in this box. If you want to give the gift of art, true art, and it actually doesn't cost anything, what you'll find 
is me on Instagram at Mike Not Jerry. Give the gift of me. Just send them the at Mike Not Jerry. So happy holidays from all of us here at Jerry's Autorama. Uh, we hope that we have inspired you to continue being the best artist or artist gift giver you know. No? Maybe?